the little when he was a little boy, he photoshopped a kid picture of himself, bitch. With yeah, put a little Photoshop with green eyes saying, Yeah, yeah, this is me when I was a kid. Talking about, yeah, this is my real eyes, bitch. You could see the little ring around his eyes. You know the little ring when people have on contacts? Who was home with the trailer? <laughs> oh my god, bitch. I'm, that's why, bruh. Every time I try to look into his eyes, he look away. I swear to God. <laughs> he look away, bitch, because he don't want people to look too hard. Bitch, he ain't fooling nobody, bitch. <sighs> Who? Oh, that's Poppy. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bro. Put him up. Yeah, that's bro now. Fuck you talking about. That's bro now. What's good, bro? I told you, When God, the one you was talking to about Poppy. I'm the nigga that you But anyway, TK spends his money on the wrong stuff. No, bro. Girl, he's he's a material girl. He is a material girl. Hold on, man. Let me tell y'all something, bro. This nigga, let me tell y'all something. If I tell a nigga, let me let me whisper because he's talking to y'all. Okay, so this is the tea. Material girl. Even if the nigga tweaking is my homie, I gotta check niggas, bro. Thank y'all for the gifts. He's my boy. You know what I'm saying? He ain't my boy, bro. All right, let's talk about it. Only thing that he got that's real over there. Is is his motherfucking Versace no, robe? No, me, I give him that. Cool, I, the Versace cool, robes bro, is real. Y'all already know Armani's Versace robe is real because Barbie bought it. One thing about Barbie, she ain't gonna buy no fake ass shit, bitch. Okay, she been she wait, been wait, wait, uh hold up, hold up, hold up, hold she up. been motherfucking on, cashing me, out for on, years. Okay, before we go. I got you. Hold on. I'm driving, hey, nigga. Wait, up, wait, wait, wait. He got a problem with me. Wait, I'm driving. Hold on. Just take Bay and him right there. Take him out. Only because Meek said so. Hey, bro, look. I'm going to keep this shit a stack with you because you know I've kept this shit 100 from the start, my nigga. Most definitely. You see all these little stoplight niggas that walk. Unknown caller. Unknown caller. Unknown caller. Unknown caller. Unknown caller. What do you say? He loves her. I can't really hear, but I understand he'll say he He quiet now. Let me hear what Meek's saying, y'all, because he's talking. We never seem to go to camera because he never go to the store. What? Okay, but don't speak for uh Poppy though. Okay, but don't speak for Poppy as well. Anyway, Meek, and we ain't got no problem with Meek. But one thing we're not gonna allow nobody to do. And this go for me too. As much as as I got a lot of respect for me, but one thing I don't I don't want to allow is for to for me to stand up for Poppy talking about niggas is real niggas in real life. No, you may be a real nigga, but your friend isn't. So don't speak up for him. Period. Hey, hey, um, hey, is it Caribbean? Or yeah, it's Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, it's okay. Caribbean. So look, right? I don't know me, right? I never had an there's no family dollars or dollar trees on camera. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so. Me, how you going? I swear to God on my life, gang. I don't know you from a can of paint. He just told me to let him down, but you want to get up, doggy? I'm not. Just let him say what he got to say and then let me back up if he's still in there. Because he, yeah, you allowed me to say what he got to say. I'm going to let, let you say what you got to say. That's T, y'all. What else we was talking about? How uh TKO fake? All that fake shit he be wearing. Yeah. Wait, what? You're disappointed. And that's facts. Ooh, I dare him to show receipts proving that he motherfucking go to uh 
Boy, is you trying to find something to be mad at? Yeah, what, what are you talking about? Are you about? trying to find something to be mad at because your your boy is getting into it with Guap? Poppy is your friend, not mine. Bro. Oh, God. What the fuck? I wasn't even on ego, bro, again. He just trying to find something to be mad at because, yeah, like, boy, fake contact. Whole live is saying Meek was talking about me to Poppy in another live. Okay, well, then kick him out. The fuck? We ain't never met Meek in life, in real life anyway. I had a lot of respect for Meek, but if he's sitting there doing fake shit, then we can't fuck with you. Period. What the hell? You heard him. Yeah, you heard him, bro. Oh, yeah, that's my boy in real life. Yo, broke ass homie. Because at the end of the day, couch, at the end of the day, okay, if Poppy tell your ass to make sure you block us, what you going to do? Block us, right? I get real paid so, yeah, right. fuck him. Oh, God, let me step out. Period. Because it's hot. You need to spill the tea so Korea can find out how TKO is alive. That's how I can get... <laughs> not how I can get TKO back. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm only spilling what I know, y'all. And what I do know... <clears throat> what I do know is if Barbie wasn't here, she probably would want me to confirm this too. And and this is one thing I respect what? about Barbie. One thing about Barbie is she did not bring up the fact that uh, that she was there when we was there type shit. Cause I feel like then she didn't want to involve us or whatever. But that's a fact, y'all. She was there when Korea was in New York. This nigga, this nigga TKO played in her face, G. She was bro. right there. She was not bro. lying about that. Niggas can sit up here and talk about While he trying to make it seem niggas, like she just thirsty, that's know. cap. Facts he in love with her. You either did or you He may did. not be in love with her, this but he may in, baby, he in love with the pussy. Please, fuck you talking about? This whole fucking time, I've been sitting here saying, Meek been a real nigga since day one. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Like, like he said in those text messages. Because Barbie, Barbie did show the text messages. He did say, oh, yeah, he, uh, she do things that they don't do. Y'all got to remember that, though. Y'all got to remember that. And that's why and that's why he's so motherfucking obsessed with her. The shoe is on the other foot, baby. Barbie ain't no fucking weird-ass bitch. She's spilling facts. Let me tell y'all something about Barbie. I'm not going to lie on Barbie ever. One thing about Barbie, she's been doing her shit for a long time. She's been having niggas for a long time. One thing she ain't is press about no nigga. And TKO clearly don't know her very well to understand that. She ain't pressed about no nigga. And that's G, That's some G real shit. Okay? Me and Barbie crossed paths a long time ago. I'm talking about when I was like probably fucking 20, 19 years old, G. Right here in LA. I know about her. We met before. We had mutual friends. I don't know if y'all know about Fine Ho and shit, but she used to link up with them all the time. That's how I know her. And she been doing her shit for a long time. Okay. She ain't pressed about no nigga. Okay. <laughs> and she for sure ain't pressed. She ain't pressed about no motherfucking TKO. She got him in the bag. It's not the other way around. Yeah, pretty ho and fine ho. Those are my bitches. That's who I used to fuck with all the time. You know, them some crazy ass bitches. Free my baby though. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, like, don't do that because bitches who really know about Barbie, bitch, is going to confirm that. But don't do that. She is not pressed about no nigga. I don't know who the fuck TKO think he is, but that it's not given, honey. Okay. Y'all might think Barbie play all day. Yeah, she may play all day, but no, bitch, she is not pressed about no nigga. Okay. Now can you hook me up? <laughs> you funny as fuck. But yeah, let's 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 be real here. Literally, she can get and y'all can y'all know, click, bruh. If y'all sit here and say I'm lying, any TKO supporters say I'm lying. Everybody know me and Barbie ain't talking right now, G. But I ain't gonna fucking lie on her like that. I know about this bitch, and I know she about the. <laughs> she got this nigga in the bag, G. Don't y'all ever ever say that she pressed about no nigga because that's not what it's giving i promise y'all i'm so for real i like that mm, we know you ain't gonna lie yeah you know the tko support is gonna come like barbie this barbie did no even i told tko like what 
Wait. Oh. oh. Wait, wait. Girl, I'm no, sorry, don't do that. But anyway, um, oh, I get it now. But yeah, no, I'm just, I got to tell y'all the truth. And I'm going to tell y'all the whole truth. I fuck with TKO a long time. I supported him for a long time, but when he's sitting there playing in our hey, face, trying to play us. Hey, why are you yelling? That's what I'm saying. If you're saying you fuck with us, then why is you trying to? Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, we just we just uh, letting everybody know what's going on with uh, certain individuals since they want to get get on here and um, fake for the internet and play in people's face. So why Korea hate Barbie? Man, look, she, I don't know about hate. I don't think she hate her. I know she dislike her. I know she don't like her. She don't like her because she don't like the fact that, that, that she, okay, that, that Barbie is, you know, associating with TKO and things like that. Like, she should just leave him alone. And he already got two women, blah, 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 blah. But, bitch, one thing, let me tell you something, Korea. And it's on some woman to woman shit, baby. One thing you can't do is change no man. A man gonna fuck with whoever he wanna fuck with. Okay? He gonna fuck with whoever he wants to fuck with. Okay? He say he's polygamous, but honey, that's just a title. I don't know about polygamous, G. I don't know about that. Yes, babe. That's what I was talking about. She, she revealed it? Okay, princess. I'm, I, girl, I did not say shit this whole time. I didn't say your name. But I wanted her to say it for herself. She finally said it. Princess finally came on the live and revealed that she that he owes her the fifty thousand, bitch. Fifty thousand beans. I told y'all I wasn't gonna come on here and say the girl's name, but it's a whole bunch of people in Demon Time that he owed money to. But anyway, you can't change no nigga. A nigga gonna fuck on whoever the fuck he wanna fuck on. Just like when as soon as he came back from um, New York, what the fuck did he do, y'all? What he do? The fuck he couldn't help to hit up motherfucking barbie and link up with her he couldn't fucking help it and they're gonna try to hmm. okay hold on and they're gonna try to manipulate the situation and be like oh oh i was doing it for you i was trying to get her to calm shit down and oh i don't want her to be clowning you and like shut the fuck up any real bitch can know that that's fucking fake bitch you ain't doing that shit for me what the fuck you you linked up with her bitch because you wanted to motherfucking see her. Be real with your motherfucking self, ho. The fuck is you talking about? Be real with yourself. Fuck, fuck wrong with this nigga. The fuck you mean you did it for Korea? That sound like some manipulating ass shit, right? Oh, I did it for you, baby. Oh, I cheated on you for you, baby, because I, I just wanted to... Uh, bitch, that's some manipulated ass shit. Who says that? I did it for you. And then he went on live, fucking sad as fuck, looking like he about to cry. Oh, see what I do for people, and they don't do nothing for me. See how I go on my way, bitch? What? Shut up. Like, stop the cap. That's why she always look miserable. Man, look, Korea, she's a fine-ass woman. She better run while she can. She look good for her age. She better not let that man ruin her fucking look. fuck is you talking about? She better not let him ruin her. Oh, God. Oh, that's why she broke up with him that time. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, 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 can I clear something up real quick? Oh, this bitch. Let me say something real quick to y'all. Real quick, real quick. I know y'all don't I know y'all don't respect Armani and shit like that. Well, some of y'all don't. Y'all be talking shit about her. But what let me tell y'all, let me clear it up real quick, y'all. Armani, y'all may not like the way she look on camera, but that's a bad bitch. I am not gonna lie to y'all. I love women. Armani is bad as fuck, y'all. Y'all gotta stop saying that she is a fat. She I promise you, I would not lie to y'all. People be, oh, no, she funny looking. No, no. That's a bad bitch. And she way better in person. No cap. That's a bad bitch. 
Oh God. But um, yeah, y'all gotta stop saying she ugly for real. She ain't ugly, y'all. Korea not ugly either. They both some beautiful women, and they deserve better. Oh God. I look crusty, caution. But just for you, I'm gonna go ahead and cam up a little bit. <sighs> oh my god, I look crusty as fuck, bitch. <laughs> just don't, bro. Don't post, bro. If y'all gonna post me in the Discord, at least post the cute screenshot. Don't do me how y'all be doing these women, please, bitch. <laughs> y'all see me? Hold on, let me get in the light. Wait, why can't we need some light in here? Who are you talking to? Who is who's Santana? No, because everybody was running to me for help. They was running to me. His hosts were running to me, asking me for help and how to sign up for PKs and how to check if they on the lineup and all kind of shit. It was just too fucking much for him. So yeah. TKO I, I don't uh, I don't think so Benji I never heard about that TKO said he was the one snitching about the chat you sent him screenshots you you was the one snitching about the chat you sent him oh when he say that TKO wait I sent him screenshots what the fuck I look oh <gasps> Ooh, he said that when he say that when he say that because Please bring up the receipts. When the fuck did I ever send him a screenshot about the Discord? I told him. I told him when I let this, bro, and God is my witness. If y'all was there that day when me and Barbie did get into it, did not, did I or did I not tell TK, yo, I respectfully left. We respectfully left, and I didn't tell you shit because it had nothing to do with you, G. So what the fuck is he talking about? I sent him screenshots. What is, what is he talking about? I didn't even want to talk about the shit to him because it had nothing to do with him. He not my nigga. What the fuck am I sending him screenshots for? <laughs> what the fuck? That's not my nigga. What the fuck? What he gonna do for me? No, what he gonna do for me? Shit. I'm saying if he did say that, don't don't lie, bitch. Uh, don't do that. Cause you know damn well I ain't saying you shit. What the fuck? Look, fuck, I'm gonna send you. What, what I'm gonna send you some shit for? You ain't my man. I take one plus one and I get two. They be reaching That's too much. Uh, I don't. I do me. I get my money. I take care of my family. Um. Yeah, y'all. This shit. <laughs> this shit crazy, y'all. Right? Girl, a whole lot, and I'm fed up. I'm tired of being a good guy, mahogany. You know, every time you tune in, I don't be talking about shit for real. Like, I chill. Or I be chopping it up with my girls. You know, but bitch, I'm tired of being a bad... I mean, I'm tired of being a good guy. Fuck that. Like, no. I'm gonna let it all out. Can we come up and ask questions? Of course. Go ahead. That'll be even better. So I can say yes or no, or I don't even know. So y'all can come the fuck up and ask questions. Period. I'm gonna answer them. Y'all bigger than this app for real. Bro, it's funny. Yeah, we are. We are. That's why I've been saying I might lead this motherfucker, but I I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I've honestly been saying, oh, I'm gonna leave this app. I'm gonna let me leave. The only thing that keep bringing me back is the fact that I definitely have true, genuine supporters that tune in when I be doing my nails and shit. That's my content for everybody that's new in here. I do nails. I'm a nail tech. So they tune in and they ask questions and they fuck with me. Like, and I fuck with them back. So I feel like it'll be selfish for me to just, you know, just fucking leave. That's the only thing that be like that be having me like, okay, I'ma stay, I'ma stay, I'ma stay. And then it's good. I be doing good business with people too. I have some good loyal people I do business with too. So it's just it's cool. It's it's cool. I could tell you the good outweighs the bad. I can admit that. Thank you, Mahogany, babe. So what I can do is open up the room and y'all can just come up. Fuck it. I don't know who this Ravier guy is, so you're about to get the fuck out. (sighs) 
um, we need to go to city. Just find your bed. <sighs> Why the fuck you, bruh? You out of country, honey. You don't even speak English. Why the fuck is you hopping in the queue? Hopping in the damn queue, bitch. Hey, baby, you are so amazing. How you know I'm amazing? You just tuned in today. Nobody loves Pimp Dog no more. Wait, who's Pimp Dog? Right, you don't even fucking speak English. What the fuck you gonna ask me? You don't even know what the hell going on. Don't hop in the damn queue if you ain't even from the U.S. Okay. <laughs> no shade. Oh, you gotta pee? Okay. You're on one tonight. Hell yeah. I'm letting it all out. I never thought that I would do this. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I never thought. I didn't want to do this. But motherfuckers is trying me. I, y'all, from the first to the third, to the third, um, the third of the morning, I took a fucking break. I meditated because I really didn't want to do this. Like, you know, I'm, I was cooling for a long time, but it's just like, boom, then this poppy shit happened. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm about to let y'all know everything, bitch. Okay, come up, Cherry. Come up, Cherry. Ask them and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what the fuck I know. See, what the fuck is going on? Like, what the hell? Get your ass up out of here. What the fuck? Adesina, well, that was his name. But yeah, y'all can come up, ask questions. I'll answer them. I think that would be better. What are you doing? I'm jacking off. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. TKO playing with fire. Yeah. Well, he asked for it. He got it on period. I would never have shit to say. Cherry, you are waking it up. <laughs> hey, Cherry. <laughs> yes, girl, you are waking it the fuck up. For one, I want to say this. You a real ass bitch because even though you and Barbie going through whatever, you didn't lie. Like, you was being honest the whole entire time. Oh, no, I ain't going to ever lie. Fuck that. No, I'm going to tell the truth. Like, uh-uh. And you was, and honestly, you was loyal to TKO for a minute. Like, I remember when everything was going on, you were saying, oh, yeah, even though he ain't got no furniture, he got something in that house. I remember you were like, um, he got something in the house that, that would shock all of us or something like that. So you was giving him his props, but. Exactly. I, I no furniture. <laughs> he really ain't got no furniture to you. Oh, I'm just drunk. Like, I, I was know, trying was my trying. hardest to have his background, even though he really don't got shit. I'm like, damn, I got to. I gotta have my my bro back some kind of way. <laughs> no, so okay, so I got a couple of questions, and um, I'm gonna see if other people got questions I'm gonna ask. But my first question is like, when they're not on camera, like, what is the interaction between all three of them? Like, is it giving like happy couple, or is it giving like let's get on Bigo and you know pretend like everything's good? It's giving Armani be upstairs in her own fucking room. It's giving TKO got got mad at her one day, one night. Oh, here goes some new tea. TKO Ooh. got mad at her. Hold on, David. TKO got mad at her because she was taking too long upstairs. I heard him yell at her. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but he was yelling at her upstairs. And then he came back downstairs looking all irritated. And then she finally came down. Once she came down, she said, oh, hi. Remember, she twerked in the camera a little bit. And boom, she went back upstairs. And that was that. So Armani be in her own fucking lane, doing her own fucking thing. And fucking Korea, you know how she is all up on him. Like, like mm -hmm. they just together and Armani is the best friend that they have a threesome with or something. <laughs> like, wow. that's what it's giving. Yeah. Wow. So do you think like from the chemistry like they got going on, do you think that like Korea genuinely fuck with Armani or do you think she want her um want him by himself basically? <sighs> you know what? Mm, that's a good question because when I was there one this past time for Mr. K's birthday, they were kind of it was I can't even say because look, they were vibing in a friendly way. 
on the patio mm. set, just talking to each other. But it wasn't like a like a sister wife. You feel me? Like it wasn't mm-hmm. I mean, how I would imagine myself with my sister wife. You know, I'll be close to her. Don't get they had a big ass gap between each other. They're not even next to each other. They're chopping it up like they're just friends. And and that was that. And it, it's just like it's weird. It's very fucking weird. And one thing I would say is that they don't know how to like socialize in person. When you when you mm. see them on camera, one thing about me when I go in Korea's live, she's Caribbean. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yo, hi, hi, new your nephew miss you. When you gonna come? We gonna we gonna have fun and drink, blah blah. blah. Bitch, when I came over there, she don't she don't do that in in person. And you know what's funny? I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say her name, but I don't know if she want me to say her name. But my my friends asked me. She she said she was like uh. How was it when you over there when Armani and with Armani and uh Korea like do they socialize because it seems like they just quiet and I'm like mm-hmm. yeah, they, yeah they are they fucking quiet they don't know how to act off camera like it's fake bitch it's fake oh wow so, it's okay, it's giving fake saying. it's giving like okay when we're on camera let's pretend like we're just this happy family but then yes. when we're on camera it's like I don't really talk to you like that I'm a fuck on him or whatever you gonna go upstairs and we're not gonna talk to each other. Yes, that's what it's given. Like I don't I, their their relationship between TKO and Armani it confuses the fuck out of me. I don't know what that's bizarre. I've never seen them. I mean, I understand a woman wants her own space because I am that t- kind of way sometimes. Like, okay, I want my own space, but not like that. Ill, mm. not like that. They as really be separated. Like, like it's weird. <laughs> It's maybe, weird. Ooh, I ain't even gonna speculate, but maybe um, Armani just tired of his shit. Honestly, they didn't went through so many women over there, and she just <laughs> basically had to put up with all this fake shit and only having two spoons and two forks. She will be. I will be frustrated too. That's probably. I'll be, probably, I, I'll be everywhere. I think that's what it is because even like like when he be trying to get all mad and shit, she just be like, okay, all right, oh, no, 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 okay, all right. Like, she'll just agree with him to get him to shut the fuck up. Because she just wow. don't give a fuck. Like, it's just... And I probably would do the same thing if I if I was in that kind of situation. Like, oh, whatever. I don't even want to argue with you today. Like, just, okay, whatever. Go go downstairs to Korea. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> like, that's what he do. It, it, that's how they are. It's weird. Like... <sighs> so, okay, another thing we noticed, the people who be watching in the comments... So it looked like Korea and TKO argue every single day. Like, do do you think that Korea is actually happy in a relationship with TKO? Like, from what you judge from their their energy, like, do you mm. think she really want to be with him or she's using him for clout? No. Uh, okay. So Korea, you gotta come back. Let me lock up the room because I don't know. Like, don't even waste your time coming up here if you're not if you see somebody up here talking to me no disrespect but anyway okay korea she has she's very like what you call that she lets it okay so if she like have a problem with something she's gonna let it be known and one thing about tko he's been so he's been this way for a very long time so they catch themselves arguing about the shit you know what i mean the Mm. the shit that she dislike and so I feel like this, I'm going to give my honesty. I feel like she do see a lot of fucking red flags with this man, but she really trying to work it out because I feel like she genuinely do like him. I do think that she mm. genuinely like TKO. But okay, it's not well, giving happy yeah, I, family. I believe that it, yeah, I believe that she do genuinely like him. I think it's also a mixture, though. I do got to say this. I do think it's a mixture of her like kind of being in too deep where like she already positioned position herself to be like kind of in the mix and now it's like if she gets out she knows that it's just gonna be all out like everybody dragging her basically mm-hmm. so it's like you know when you in there and it's like well shit i'm already here i might as well just keep going that's what it's getting I think that's part of yeah I, I think it's definitely that okay let me see what are the questions i got because this, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot, okay? Um, oh, okay, my other question. So, do you think that TKO really is used to any type of money? Because after he got that 50K, he didn't win and got a Bentley. 
he's blowing his money and he's not really hitting no quotas on um the other app. So do you think that he's really like, does he give off that vibe of, okay, I'm seasoned, I got money, or just, you know, somebody man, who's broke, he's trying to fake it? I'm going to keep it G real. This man do get money. I'm going to give him that. But okay. he sucks at money management. This nigga will spend that shit quick mm. and it's gone it's gone like he get the money but it's, it be gone within the first month the next Ooh. month he's stressing out oh my god we gotta get our bed up with you woo. he's stressing he don't know how to manage his fucking money period he don't yep and barbie said that too that's the reason why barbie not with him because he spent all his money on the wrong stuff no he do you have me dying when you said that you'll have to share for it. I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on that. <laughs> like, and then we would see y'all all chilling there and everybody standing up by the uh kitchen island and by the fireplace. And the only place y'all had a, a chance to sit down was on the patio furniture. Girl, I cannot believe this. No shade. Let me tell you something. I was happy as shit when I seen they got the patio, bitch. Because I got tired of sitting on that fucking fireplace, bitch. My ass was hurting and my back was hot, ho. I got tired what? of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, what the fuck? Where he had y'all sitting on the green carpet. Uh, was doing somebody, somebody was doing hair and then had them sitting on the carpet. Like, why you didn't get no chairs? Oh, yeah. Girl. He didn't get furniture. No, he don't have furniture. He don't have no furniture. He don't have no. He don't have no silverware. Like I said, bro, I was sitting there. I made my plate. Man, let me tell y'all, Foxy. I like Foxy. I like Mr. K. They ain't gonna like me after this. It's cool, but Foxy threw the fuck down for Mr. K's birthday. Okay, I fixed me a good fucking plate, bitch. And I'm looking around. I'm like, where the fuck is the spoons and the forks, bitch? I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, okay, let me let me start picking at my food. I'm eating because I'm so hungry. Like, Armani you come gotta in. You got to eat it with your hands at this point. <laughs> yeah, Armani come in. She like, oh, Caribbean, oh, you need a spoon or a fork? I said, yeah. She's like, okay. She got her fork. She's washing it off. She washed it off in the sink and then handed it to me. I'm like, bitch, we all in here sharing forks, bitch. We in here oh sharing forks in here. Like, that's, that's, that is embarrassing. I don't give a fuck. That is, Common courtesy that is. when people is over at your house. Period. You can literally get a box where it has the forks, the spoons, and the knives from Dollar Tree for like three dollars. I don't know part. what's going on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. And then um oh okay, so the cars. That's the question everybody wants to know. Why does man have his cars in the shop for how many months? Since November? Man. <laughs> He don't got that fuck the white one with the TKO on it. He don't got that shit no more. He need to stop lying. He need to keep up with his lies. I don't even know if he fucking remember. Remember when we was uh we smoked with him? You you know TKO don't smoke. We we made him hit the blunt and shit and all that. Everything was good and everything. This motherfucker said, "Oh, well, I sold it. I sold it." And then you telling people, "Oh, that motherfucker in the shop." <laughs> Bitch, keep up with your lies, G. Keep up with your shit. Oh my god. You sold it or it's in the shop? Which one? Wow. wow. Like this man is this obsessed point, with looking like he's somebody. This is crazy. Girl, this nigga is fake. TKO, I hope you are watching. You are very fake and phony. Oh god. You try to keep up the yeah, and I think that's what that I care about that. everybody. I think that's what aggravates everybody is the fact that he's so fake and he tries to convince us while we're watching him. Oh, ooh, I have to ask you a question. That part. I have to ask about the weave. Does this man have weave in his head? And Caribbean, be honest. You know what a good first of all people do is look like. Do this Bro. Man keep Thank you, wifey. His head. <laughs> Thank you, wifey. Look, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, hey, no shade. Kinky twist. <laughs> I haven't seen a good kinky twist since I was twelve years old. So yes, that is we in fifth grade. You know, okay, okay. Let me give y'all an example. You know, okay. Remember back in the days when we get the kinky twist? Sometimes our aunties used to cut the ends and they looked like all like. Like, uh, like puffy, yeah, puffy at the end. 
That's how and it's all look. cut straight. And yes, it's cut straight. About. It's cut straight like it's fake hair. That's what it's giving. That's what it is. Fake hair. It's canker long. Ooh. It's giving. If I stand too close to the fireplace, the shit gonna burn. That's what it's giving. Oh my god! I and I knew this, but it's like this man really be walking around acting like he don't got weave in his head, and I know his women see it because you that close to that man's scalp and you see that his real hair. First of all, when he takes the kinky twist out, his hair ain't that thick. So that's how you know that that's weave. Girl, his hair is thin as paper. Let's be real. His hair is thin as paper, bitch. Yes, I don't know. know. They're flat ironing it and putting the hot comb through that shit. That shit is dry and brittle from all that bleaching and everything. That is weave. That I is cannot. Weave. That's what's going on. That is hair weave. I, I just, I would respect the man that keep it real with himself. Hey. If, huh? What you say? What was that bitch gonna do if I asked her to hop Child, this is the tea. Y'all got some questions? Hey, come out. Oh, this is a lot. Yeah, he's a material girl. The beard too. It got Beijing. It got uh, black powder and shit in it. You got a spray on beard. <laughs> My bad. The hubby was asking me some. No, you're good. Oh, let's hop on that real quick. Let's hop on the beard real quick. Because even oh, I want to know, why the fuck, TKO, if you're watching, sus, I'm going to say sus, because I don't know a bad bitch. I, I know a yeah, bad bitch when I see him. But why, why, why when you uh was wiping your face when you was done eating, uh, the paper towel had black stuff on it? Are you spray Ooh. painting your motherfucking face, the beard, like to make it bolder? Is that what it's giving? Oh, my God. Like, oh my is that what it is? Are you spray painting your face, your beard? I, I just want to know. What me dying was the other night when um Armani and him was live, and then he kissed her, and then the black stuff got on her face, and she had to lie and be like, oh, you wiped some stuff on my face. When he didn't even touch her face, only the beard touched her face. <laughs> Literally, only the beard. <laughs> oh, come on, city. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, that's alive. funny as fuck. I don't know. I just like oh, I said, I respect on, the nigga me. if he was real. Hold on, hold on, y'all. If he yeah, was real I spamming my phone. Hold on. What he doing? He's spamming my phone. He in front <laughs> I told you he was in front of Did you ever see the Yiddies? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's a good question, <laughs> actually, Gaggy Hold on. Good don't, question. Call him back. This nigga about to overload my phone or something. This nigga keeps calling my phone. Block him. Fuck him. But anyway. That man ain't never take you said that's me calling about the 10K. <laughs> I just told, I just told uh, these. Hold on. I can't even hear Cherry Bay. Why you so loud? Like, come on. Tell him. I give that nigga 10,000. Bro, they Damn, kill Damn. Like, he talking over Cherry. They call I'm about to go outside his head. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> No, you're good. I was trying to come up with more questions, but they asked me some good questions. Oh, what they asking? This shit is crazy. Um, somebody asked. Oh, Dragon asked about um the, his giddies. Have you ever seen him without a shirt on? Because he's very subconscious about his. I can't. You know, I can't. His I can't double deal, y'all, bro. I got No, I can't. I can't lie. I can't get off. I only see. I only I see him with like a tank tank top. Now. Bro. I, I'll go change my number. Really? And yeah, I've seen okay, him like did a tank he have, like some? Did you notice any boobage going on? Like, like uh, was it yeah. given like you, you need to leak my address? Or like, over there so I can make an example out of it. Um, okay, so with the boob thing, I don't know if it's like muscle, if it's like muscular, oh, so like the, the chest, he said it's or mm-hmm. if it's really just titties. That's I don't I honestly don't know, <laughs> Me, but it is puffy, right? Yeah, like argue, it's giving bro, it's y'all, giving y'all, a cups. Y'all, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. But I don't know if it's muscle. <laughs> okay, I get what you're saying. It's like puffy, where it's like okay, it's like it could pass for muscles, but you can tell he had titties at one point. Like it's giving that, like titties trying to be converted converted into muscles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, why is it a All right. Um, gas station? Dang. Wait. Oh, hold, did he? No. He. Hold on. Hold on, real quick. Cherry, hold on. Let me put in because we trying to. I'm trying. I gotta go to the bank. Let me put in the oh, address and then I'm gonna come right back. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not right. exiting the live though. Just.
put this that trying to escape in. reality by putting lights in a Ford Escape. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Oh my Yo. god. I'm really in wow. tears. No, I'm in tears. This is a lot. This, <laughs> this, this is a lot. Yeah, at this point, he's manifesting. This man is trying to build his dream life. He's trying to get a fleet of cars from uh, 1998, 1988. Uh, he's trying to get him the oldest cars he can and then update them. He's going to put the lights in there, the marble floors. Y'all heard him. He said he wants to put the marble floors oh in a car. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Just like how you want to put the marble floors over the green car. This is a lot. Girl, it's, 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 bro, like, it's deep. It's deep with him. He want to live this lifestyle that he trying to, like, you know, bro, you don't have the money for the lifestyle you're trying to fucking show. Like, a hundred K, a hundred thousand, bitch. That is not a lot of money, okay? Especially if you're paying bills. I mean, you're paying fucking rent. Let's be clear here. Yeah. And I, I, I hope he didn't say that that was his house either. Because I was told that he was saying he was paying a mortgage. That's not what he's giving. He oh, pays rent. that's another thing. So, do he own those two houses? Or what the is fuck? He Why am I getting gas and I got a full fucking tank of gas, bro? You think this is fucking my house? <laughs> Babe, can you get off get lives? This nigga getting gas. <laughs> Oh my god. Not him getting gas and we gotta uh, bitch. We all the way on full. Okay, no more gas fitting here, baby. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, that he's not paying fucking mortgage. That is a rental home for one. So I don't know why he's sitting there ripping up fucking carpet and shit. I don't know what the fuck, bitch, but you need to make sure you letting the landlord know you doing all that or yeah, that's going to come out of your deposit. All shit. I think he was lying about that. I think he told everybody, oh, yeah, I'm going to rip up the carpet so he could like go with because basically he wanted to buy an old ass house. He bought old shit and then try to, you know, revamp it. So he tried to lie and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to rip up the carpet, but he ain't rip up nothing. The carpet's still there. Mm -hmm. and he buying cars and now he buying furniture now since he buying the furniture I'll let you know he's not ripping up the carpet because who gonna buy the furniture before ripping up the carpet come on now he he wanted to to make it seem like him buying that old house that he was re, you know redoing it and that's not what's going on at all he wants that old ass green carpet yep he wanted it girl only oh, carpet he did change some more nice. questions but I'm gonna give you a moment. It, it's some more questions because this is my girl. He, like this is a lot. Okay, that's whatever. Hold on, let me block this number too. Why? Why the fuck is he calling you like that? What does he want? I really gotta block niggas' numbers, bro. Did Hold you on. block it? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Can you go here really quick? Cause this bitch talking about I gotta do that before eleven thirty. <sighs> this is house smell. No, honestly, the house don't stink. Yeah, I, just I, I mean, y'all, y'all gotta remember, he don't even got shit in there, so it's empty. It smells <laughs> like a brand new house. It smells like a brand new house. I mean, you know, you you know how that that fresh smell when you first go into an empty house. <laughs> that's, that's what is. All you gonna be smelling is the carpet. Literally, there's nothing in there. Nah, honestly, the dogs don't even smell. I'm I'm trying to know what groom they take them dogs to because they smell good. They smell good. I ain't gonna lie about that. They smell good. They always groom. However, you may smell a little piss when you go in the bathroom because I think he be he'll put them in there if they being bad or something. Oh, the dogs in the bathroom. Oh, uh, it smell like a strong piss smell when I went to go pee. Wingard, right? And then um, Man, other than this, that, what's this shit? Wingard. W I N. So, do he even have Wind paper girl? towels? Like, <laughs> bitch, this nigga don't hey, got no hand soap. So can... It was no hand soap in the bathroom. What? No paper towels. I couldn't even wash my girl. I'm getting. I'm walking to the kitchen before I go pee to go grab the dawn, oh, the dawn God. dish soap, so I can wash Are my you hands properly. Kidding me? Yes, that's that. That's that real. Yeah, he does not have no hand soap there for the guests. He barely has toilet paper. 
bitch, I'm trying to pull up enough to make sure I'm wiping my my cooter cat right. I learned my lesson. I'm telling it to you so you can remember it, because I'm not. W I N. What are you trying to do? G A W D. I'm trying to fucking line this nigga, babe. You got me over here doing all this by myself. I think I pushed fucking uh, G A W D. We ain't got all right there. Anyway. Yeah, I had to. I learned my neck. I learned my lesson the next time. I did took some little uh Charmin wipes, so I made sure I was able to wipe myself properly. You know what I mean? And yeah, because he did not. He barely had toilet paper there. It was not giving. Oh my god! He barely has anything for guests. He does not have paper towels, no plastic plates, paper cool, spoons. Y'all. I'm gonna end I, I'm, no. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna end it, and then I'm gonna go. So do they even have groceries? Because I, I see that they go to IHOP every day. Me, so I do they even buy groceries? Me, I do see that the refrigerator is full. He does has juices and little frozen goods, and <laughs> you know, maybe a little milk. But um, that's about it. There's nothing else in the cabinet. No, no seasoning. You know, like you know, like a normal kitchen. Meat is oh. Cold. So no seasoning, but he got. I think fruit. I pushed. He got button. chicken and salmon and that everything me? in the uh, refrigerator, but no seasoning. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm gonna get off, bro, and I'm gonna just okay, go hold on. God shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, hold on, baby. Um. Yeah, he don't. He don't. He don't have nothing. And I wish he would come up and show his goddamn cabinet. I bet you he ain't got shit in there. Like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, all he got in there is lean bottles. We already seen that. That's all. He got. <laughs> That's not literally not the empty lean bottle. He got the empty. Lean literally, bottle. he have a whole collection. <laughs> like he try to prove something to somebody. I don't even know what that's gonna do. That's crazy. So okay, so somebody else wanted to know. Um. So ooh. Oh, May like, hey, hopefully what she said. Me. They about to start a cooking show. Shit, I mean, it ain't like they can't go to Walmart real quick and grab them some dishes. You know, I I hope they do. I really do because that is embarrassing. Okay. Mhm. Literally, is embarrassing. that is embarrassing. Right. Like That's I say weird. that for anybody. I mean, for Korea and Armani. Goddamn, they can't even girl like live properly. Like bitch. What goes to say they want to make them a piece of toast, bitch? They don't got a motherfucking toaster. God damn. Not even a toaster? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Let me see which way we going. Oh, it's telling me to. All you. right, I but you. um, I got you, girl. Come on now, you know I got okay, you. Okay, daddy, my bad, my bad, daddy. Come on, man. <laughs> my bad. Okay, let me stay in my place. Me, bitch ass nigga. Let me stay in my place, oh. period. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who dropped oh my top? God. Who dropped top cards? That's his shit. That is his shit, though. I ain't gonna lie about that. But well, that was a bad yeah, that investment. Is his card. Yeah, he that, that was. He took his whole Michael. Uh, oops, excuse my language. Oops. No, you good. Um, he took his whole uh, check. He took his whole check from across the street, or oh, um, and bought a, a 07. <laughs> right. How the, fu- how the fuck you got ten thousand dollar rims on a fifteen thousand dollar car? Oh, makes no sense. And then you could tell like he never had no money because anybody with real money would know. First of all, that's a bad investment. And you do no. You know what he did? He did some shit. A twenty-year-old street nigga, a twenty-year-old street gangbanger nigga. That's what he did. You look stupid, nigga. Yeah. You're about to be fifty years old. No shade. Oh wait, wow. no, he about to be forty. Yeah. He about oh, to be his forty. I don't know his fucking age, but he's fucking old. But still, that's that's how the rims. He's a grown man car. doing that. That's something you would expect from somebody who's like nineteen who doesn't that's know what, anything. About no, it. no, he's not fifty. Car. He thirty-eight, y'all. He is thirty-eight. That was hubby mistake. He is thirty-eight though. He about to be forty. At forty, you're supposed to already have your life, you know, established. That's what I'm saying. I'm you know what I'm saying? 30, bro, and my shit is lazy. You, Nigga, you're not even. I would expect him to be, bro. The money that he got from the M word, I thought he was gonna invest, honey. Like, do some, do his big one. Like when he was like, "Oh, I got a surprise for y'all. 
I got some big news. You know, say he bought some fucking cryptocurrency. Oh here. God, so like mm-hmm. or something. I did an NFT. Bitch ass nigga, you bought it. But a, that's how you uh, know he don't uh, have the uh, right people around him. Because me business. as a woman, I would be like, "What are you doing with your money? That's not smart. We gotta think about what we gonna do outside of the. You the know apps what? Because I'm, he's depending only on the apps. That part. Who is that, baby? Who is that? That's Miss Cherry. Miss Cherry. You know why I'm mad, Miss Cherry? Because my fucking why wife would have told me. My wife would have told me, "Hey, what the fuck is you doing? I'm mad." Korea exactly. and Armani didn't tell that fucking stoke, stupid ass dunce to not do that. Period. And that's that's how you know you got a real woman because a real woman will tell you that's not smart. Why are you spending your money on something that is not going to secure you in the long term? And then he made it seem like he literally said that it's, that's the most money he got in one in one sitting. I could have so, put him in a Lamborghini Urus. I could have put that nigga in a Lamborghini Urus. You had twenty thousand dollars down. I could have got you a Rolls Royce Cullinan, paying fifteen hundred dollars a month. I paid fifteen hundred dollars a month for a Lamborghini Urus. What the fuck is you doing? You know a nigga that got Hellcats. I I done pulled up on you in a Hellcat, a motherfucking Lambo, an I eight. What the fuck is you doing? Let's let's talk about with the Jesse. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Cause when we were sitting there trying to really like conversate with him, like trying to really let him know, you know, what we could, you know, fuck with him on type shit. Trying to blow nigga me. And this nigga tried to, oh no, 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 I'm good, bro. Yeah, I got the Maserati truck. Yeah, wait till you see what I got, nigga. I got the Maserati truck. I got the the twenty twenty Bentley bitch. But what the fuck, nigga? You try? He's so worried about flexing on us. Nigga, we mm-hmm. really was trying to fuck with you for real. Because we got this shit in real life, nigga. The fuck? The only nigga over there that showed me 100 No, I'm not in his agency. Uh, new shit was T-Up. Uh, was Mr. K. Mr. K yeah. That's why I said I respect, I respect Mr. K. That's a real nigga for you. On God. Mr. K is a real nigga. He gonna hate me for this, like I said. But I'm sorry, Mr. K. Your brother started it first, period. And at least Mr. K got his priorities in order. When uh, TKL moved out that other house, Mr. K didn't build it up with furniture and everything. Hell yeah. Do it Girl, right. Mr. K. Because he got kids. Because he got a girl. Because the nigga's smart. He listened to his girl. Fuck you mean? He got kids. He ain't about to be sitting up over there trying to act like it's a bachelor pad. Nigga, and you struggle, you know. Bro, Mr. K took TKO old house and and motherfucking furnished that motherfucker. Literally. Uh, 1595. 1595. Yeah. You, you do? Yes. Come here. Yeah, go ahead. 1595. But uh TKO gonna be back in there. <laughs> but oh. Okay, I, I have more questions. Let me scroll up because they, they giving me <laughs> questions everywhere. <laughs> it's a lot going on. I'm fucking crying. But I know he didn't piss y'all off because y'all was really riding and being loyal. So what did he do? Like, what did he do to y'all? Was he talking shit? Okay. When I was sitting there trying to have his back, I don't know if y'all remember that whole thing with Masterpiece. He was his host or whatever. Oh, yeah. And, I um, that. When, okay, so when news, I guess some tea came to him about Masterpiece, uh, uh, the first thing he first he thought that I was sitting there talking bad about him TKO uh, but that wasn't the case but before I even entered the live these motherfuckers were sent they sent me today I don't even know why the fuck they waited so long today they sent me videos of this nigga TKO like oh yeah if for that bitch if any bitch got something to say about me she could direct it to me and all kind of mm-hmm. talk, talking about me I should have checked him about that I didn't hear that shit until today like no, honestly, three days, like four days ago, I first heard it. And then I really peep in the fucking videos. And I'm like, wow, he really was directing that shit to me. But when I came onto his live, I came onto his live in his box and we was talking and he, he calmed down and he ain't had that energy with me. So yeah, it was that, that was dead. It after that. Okay. This goes back to him talking about my husband was, is his um drug dealer. He he said on live, oh yeah, uh, my plug about to pull up. After we before before he said that, we had just told him like, don't like don't do that. He like you ain't got to tell me like this this is some social media shit. They gonna think what they gonna think. But nigga, mm-hmm. why the fuck would you say that on live? You know what I'm saying? Making it seem like he's trying a to be drug cool. dealer. Yeah, like he trying to make it seem like he got it like that or something. 
I'm like, they gonna think what they gonna think if you're making them think that my husband is your drug dealer. And you said that. I heard him loud and clear on his live. That was that. And then this, not too long ago, I asked him to release my friend from his agency on Bego since he's not mm-hmm. on here anymore. He's not an active agent. And so he had an attitude about that. He was ignoring me. My friend had DM me. She said that she was reaching out to him. He was ignoring her. So I'm like, what the fuck? That's confusing to me because he did make it known like, oh, if you want to be released on Bego, I'll release you. No problem. So mm-hmm. while he's sitting here having an attitude, it was awkward to me. So I had messaged him on WhatsApp. You know, you can see when a motherfucker reads your message. So I right. him, I'm like, oh, can you release my friend or whatever? She want to be released and she want to elevate, whatever. Then the only thing he replied back was sent. He just said sent. I'm like, okay, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Whatever that means. And so after that, girl, I went, I, I did tune into his life myself. And he wasn't saying too much. And when I took out, his fucking trolls came and told me that he was like, oh, yeah, if any, I don't, he was like, nobody, anybody that didn't follow me on Miko, uh, they just wasn't a true supporter anyway, and all this other shit. Like, if people want to be released, they'll be released. He even called out the homegirl. I can't, I won't say her name because I don't know if she want me to say her name. He mm-hmm. even um, called out her um said her name on a live when she asked to be released when you didn't even have to do that like why the fuck is you feeling salty about motherfuckers wanting to be released from your agency on bego if you're not an active agent that don't make no sense to me or a good agent i haven't heard not one host that went up under him say oh i'm thriving and i'm just doing awesome after being up under him and he he promised a whole bunch to uh, a whole bunch of stuff to the people who signed up under him that he was going to make them blow up and all this other stuff so that, that's messed up exactly that's messed up. oh my god so, so that was that it sound like I, I think what it sounds like is he's basically doing all this stuff like buying lean and to basically look like he just lives this expensive lifestyle but he putting himself in financial ruin can I, say something? Can, I, can I like say something? Can I can I say something real money. quick? Can I say something real yeah. quick? Like, I go to Vegas. I like to have a good time. My girl likes the finer stuff. She like designer. She like to eat, you know, five star meals and good things. Whatever. I'm gonna provide that for my wife. Period. He can't. He cannot come shop with us. He can't come Thank to any restaurant to with us. He can't. One and only. And when I get there and he wants something, he always trying to bargain and haggle and. He don't it give me what he don't give me rich nigga vibes. Like, you know what I mean? This is why I'm not really dealing with niggas and then niggas want to throw shade and do little shit. I'm telling y'all, this shit is has wait, nothing, wait, it wait, have wait. nothing to do with Bargain. indirectly. But it's like I I really feel that when a nigga is speaking to my wife, on my wife, or about my wife. But you, I'm, I'm sorry. You said bargain. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, bargain. So he going to the stores asking for discounts? Nigga, call me. Like I said, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't do the whole lean thing or whatever. You feel me? I don't sell lean, but he my homie. If I'm going to one of my homies and I'm grabbing something, oh yeah, bro, how much is it? I'm like, oh yeah, it's this, bro. Ooh, you spending that much? You? Oh yeah, the homie say he can give you this price. All right, cool. All right, I get it for you. Oh. I get there. I get there. You know damn well how much money I just got it for you. And you, yeah, bro, you don't think you, nigga, no? Give me my, what, what are you talking about? You pretty much had me grab mm-hmm. it for you and then bring it to you since I was already coming to Vegas. And you told me we was going to get high. I, I do that for you. I wake up the next day. You telling niggas, oh, yeah, you came out here to get this to me and he don't do shit. He come out here and go straight home. What? Oh yeah, let's let's talk about I'm like, it. Wait, what, nigga? Are you kidding me? I know you did not tell niggas that shit. Cause this this what pissed me off. The last live he did on on the across the street. I got two thousand. This for nigga you. went. I got there. Nigga only had two hundred dollars. The fuck, nigga? Two hundred. Two thousand. The fuck, nigga? Bro, he went live, and I don't know what we we went there for Mr. K birthday. Period. We went there for his birthday, and like. TK was trying to make it seem he was like, um, what the fuck you say in the kitchen, babe? He was like, Oh, um, I thought you only came out here to sell me drink or some weird like, shit. Like, why what? Like, why would you think that? 
Oh, you, you know, gang, whoop do whoop, and I'm like, like, why would you say that? Oh, like, nigga, you you know, I didn't come out here just for you. Like, why? Like, and because he's that. trying to make it seem yeah, like you, you a you drug dealer. On the live, bro, you. He's trying to make it seem camera. like you just this personal like delivery drug guy exactly. for him whenever he needs stuff. And that's not what it's giving. You the one who actually bossed up. And he trying to act like that on the internet. That's why he feel like he got to tell people that he do the most expensive drug Man. and all this other stuff. Nobody feels, nobody would brag about spending that type of money if they're not trying to prove something. Exactly. I went over there. They got purple and they got red. Red costs about $100 more than purple. So instead of him paying $2,000, it'd be like four. Three thirty-eight hundred type shit, right? Boom! I get over mm -hmm. there. This nigga don't want to spend no money. I said, "Gang, I'm in Vegas. What's going on? Why you ain't let me pull up?" Yeah, man, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to drink. Woo -woo -woo. I said, "Bro, I'm not telling you to buy shit. I come over there and get you high. That shit changed. Oh hell yeah, go out, go ahead, pull up, my nigga. I got some soda. <laughs> wow! I went over there. I smoked the nigga out. I got him high. All kind of shit. And then when I left, you told motherfuckers I came out there just for. You bitch, I stayed in Vegas from Saturday, Friday to Monday. I was 38 floors up at the Ari, nigga, at a glass house hotel. I was paying $2,500 a night. Why the fuck do I want to stay in a nigga house that don't got a bed? Are you crazy? Oh, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all remember, I know y'all remember it. that. I, I said it. I was like, yeah, gang, I ain't really trying to bring the air mattress and all this other shit, bro. It's, you know what what saying, he oh said? Oh, God. he was like, it's like the old days you know yeah, like, I mean, don't get me wrong i got an air mattress at the crib you feel me if we go to like my girl mama house and mom's got to go somewhere early in the morning and we stay over at mom's house oh hell no before. you shouldn't have to buy so, yeah, no air mattress, air mattress like, nowhere i'm a street nigga i'm not but bro i spent sixty five hundred dollars on a bed that fucking cools heats and vibrates i'm not spending the night on nobody's floor period the fuck oh, his ass how many oh, times right, european key how many times he tried to brush that under the rug, though? Like, oh, y'all could just stay over here. Just stay here. Get, you know, we could make dollars, you know. You already know how it is when niggas first move in. Make Nigga, dollars. you been living, bruh, you been living there how long now? What you mean first move in? Nigga, you should have been had furniture there for, for guests. When we bought our house, we slept on the floor for one day. Yes, one day we slept on the floor when we first moved into our house. Woke up and went to go furnish the bitch the next day. Literally, normal people do not leave their house unfurnished for longer than, I say, max. Maybe that part. Two months. But At you the most two months, furniture. you get your shit together. You got to pay your rent I get it. But even then, you go in a rent center just to get a fucking bed and a motherfucking a living room set. How the fuck they buy a patio before the month? Oh, oh my God. They went to Home Depot and bought patio furniture for like $50 and just left it at that. Shit crazy. Oh my God. And it's not some rich nigga vibes at all. And then you got a Bentley. You got Bentley and rims before furniture. What woman is with this man and says, oh, this is a great idea. This you doing a damn thing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure Armani wasn't tripping as long as that bedroom was decked out. And that's exactly what happened. You see what happened, right? You see Armani got her bed set. She got her spot. So she yeah, Korea, spot. I mean, uh, yeah. Armani got her bed. She got her bed or whatever. But Korea, the problem for me is Korea is like literally dumbfounded or like amazed by this man. And it's a facade. Everybody else can see it from her. Y'all yes. have to understand this though. I'm not gonna talk down on Korea, but y'all gotta understand how old that woman is. Yeah, she sees deep. The way, the way the, she think. she sees him for who he can be, not understanding. Baby, a nigga in his thirties acting like he's fifteen ain't changing. It ain't no matter what you yeah. can do. You sitting over there killing yourself trying to change somebody. My nigga over there be treating that girl Armani so fucking bad, bro. I be wanting to tell that bitch, get in the car with me and I'll take you home with my wife. Sure. Fuck you, really oh my God. Like what have you seen him do to Armani? We love Armani. I hate that. I be getting on. Man, we, we sitting over there one day, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This pissed me off, gang. This pissed me off. We sitting over there. We smoking. We drinking. It's all kind of shit over the place, bro. Korea like, yeah, I'm tired. Ooh, she about to go ahead and get up. Korea, get up. Go in the Go upstairs. Armani like, yeah, I'm tired too. I'm about to go in the room, whatever. He looked at Armani and was like, you got to clean all of this up. I was like, what the fuck? What? See, I wasn't. I was like, he was I like, you can't go to sleep. 
He like, you can't go to sleep. You gotta clean all this up. I'm like, bro, that was the day I stopped fucking with him, bro. I can't do it. You treating a bitch that had your back for the past 10, 15 years like shit because Korea got ass and she pretty? Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Korea. But, bro, you tweaking. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that girl ain't going nowhere, my nigga. And you need to understand that, bro. Niggas tend to fucking treat the woman that's there for them and that will kill themselves for them. The worst, bro. The worst, bro. And I, I don't feel, I don't condone that, bro. I don't condone that shit. Bro. He just kept saying, oh, it's because Korea got to go to work. She got to go to work. She got to be working in an hour. She be, so the fuck what? If sis sleepy too, let her fucking go. Like what? So let why do you think say, that he let like they say she going to New York? More. Let our money. Wait, what? What Cherry said? I want to know like why do you think that he treats like Korea like differently in terms of like he let Korea speak her I mind when exactly she wants to. Is. I can tell you exactly what it is. Would you like to know? <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it only crazy. takes the mind. It only t- and I'm telling you this because I'm not only a father, a husband. I used to be a former pimp. My wife can 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 confirm that I was a pimp, a big pimp. I was one of the biggest manipulators out there. This is what happened. The mind takes 20 something days to form, to make or break a habit. How long do you mm-hmm. think you succumb a woman to a certain lifestyle and a certain abuse? until she understands or thinks that it's okay. Nobody can say nothing to her because that girl is brainwashed, but she has brainwashed herself to the point to where this life benefits me in this way and this way. So until it doesn't benefit me, I'm not going to do anything. You might see it as fucked up. You might see it as bad. You might see it as wrong, but it works for her. She's Mm -hmm. found her peace within that. TKO understands that. Oh, so as long as I give you the bare minimum, bitch, you're not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what he does. He gives her the bare fucking minimum. That's it. Lie. That's all. Sheesh. Then he want to blame it on some bullshit ass poly relationship. Oh, yeah, you want to do poly go out? No. No. Hell no. You can ask me that a million times, bro. I'll fuck a bitch with my wife. No, oh, let's wake something else up. <laughs> let's wake it up. This is some, this some funny tea right here, bitch. Look. Oh, my gosh. Babe, remember when you was on the panel with TKO and he brought this up over there at the house, too? I don't know why he kept, he kept asking my husband this. He kept asking him, all right, so you wouldn't let your woman, uh, you know, like lick your ass or some shit? Why the fuck do he keep asking my husband that? I told this nigga no like six times. I'm like, bro, no, I don't even let my girl lick the gooch area, bro. Like, that's out. Like, if she (laughs) looks sucking the balls or something, I don't even like my balls suck. I like, it's going to sound weird, but my fetish is I like small pressure applied to my nuts area. I like when my girl grab my nuts and, and, and tap them and flick them. I know it's fucking weird, <laughs> but I like that shit. The, the, the pain, the pain I get, okay. that's my dick hard. That's why I say, niggas really don't want to fight me, bro. Uh, you going to hit me? No, right but look. I'm a, I'm a but why is a man asking you that? But yeah, Miss T, it, it wasn't, you know, was he asked him that. Yeah. To at the crib that was talking about it. Like, why the fuck do you keep asking this shit? Nigga, if that's what you like, that's what you like. But why the fuck is you trying to, like, what you trying to validate it with another man and, and make yourself believe that that's okay? Because you know that's some gay shit? Yeah, like trying to back him into a corner to be like, oh, okay, I, I get what you I'm say. not like, going to lie to you, babe. You, I'm not going to lie to you. As a, as a hundred percent. <laughs> Material girl. You know, as an alpha, <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a be a hundred with you. I am an open-minded person. Ass licking is not my forte. I'll do anything my wife wants me to do to her, but my ass is off limits, right? You feel me? Like I, I'm, I'm so uncomfortable to where I'll have my girl fucking, fucking shave my ass type shit because I don't want to do it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Licking, licking is one thing. The minute a nigga put his fingers or a tongue in his ass, you pegging. 
bro, that's gay. That's penetration, that's gay. bro. That's gay. Mm-hmm. I don't condone that licking shit, but I, I, I you know, it, it is what it is, bro. That's, that's what you like. Go ahead, bro. But you want to, yeah, she, Darby talking, oh, yeah, I put my fingers in the air and, woo, I'm jagging his dick off. And I'm like, oh, my God, bro. And he, that's oh, yeah, gross. He, yeah, he putting his legs off. behind his head and everything. Bro, he was Shut in the up. coffee shop. You know, they had their little coffee shop talks over there across the street. And, and my girl was in there one day, and I'm brushing my teeth, and I'm like, "Who, who are you listening to?" She was like, "Babe, this is TKO." I'm like, "You're fucking lying." I'm like, "She was You're like, fucking lying, Macarena, so she said, yeah, I eat ass, yeah, I eat ass." I'm like, "Uh, bitch, that's not something to be proud of." But okay, how the fuck is you, t- bro? This grown ass man be like. Ugh. I don't eat pussy. That's nasty. Everything be oozing and goozing out. Yes, but to say you ass. Like, but what? But to say you don't, you wouldn't eat pussy, but you don't, bro, but you're going to allow this man to convince you to eat his ass? Are you you, kidding me? But you eat booty off the toilet without getting it wiped. That's feces. You're going to get pink eye, boy. That boy going to get pink eye. I'm sick to my stomach. Where my oh my god! So, do you think that like does TKO give you like big wrist vibes? Like, is he giving like that? You know, like a, a huh? Is uh is TKO giving you like big wrist vibes? Like, what's that? Mean? Like he a little bit gay? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say it to you like this, and I'm gonna just be a hundred. Um. There's a reason I don't mind talking to gays, trannies, and all this other stuff. The reason is they don't make me uncomfortable. I have mm-hmm. a saying. If you can make a man uncomfortable, you can make a man interested. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. me nigga own this bitch. Oh, yeah, nigga, you. Eh, oh, yeah, that shit, eh, Bro, you be, That's you be low. going a little too much for a nigga that like his ass licked and pegged on. Right. I I'm going to be honest. That that is true. That's and then true. you trying to you trying to compensate with all these bitches, like you having five bitches in the crib is gonna do something. Oh yeah, bro, I remember I had eight bitches, nigga, and you was probably only really fucking one of them because the other eight, the other seven bitches was fucking each other. The fuck, nigga, don't even like I don't I don't know, bro. It's so weird. It's so weird, bro. Like what nigga only does ass play. Mm. A nigga that done fucked a nigga before. I mean, fuck. Literally. <laughs> you you speak in facts because, and that's why I believe the Sydney Star stuff because there ain't no man that comfortable to just kind of let, you know, that happen at all. And then, okay, my to kind of segue. So my question, like, with Korea, like, all of a sudden wanting to eat ass at 41, right? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you think that Barbie inspired her to start eating ass at Yes, 41? yes, yes. Hell yeah, because she was salty because like TKO said, TKO said Barbie does things that she doesn't that they don't do. Carmani in Korea. Okay? And wow. one thing that one thing that uh, Korea knows is that he likes his ass to be licked on, massaged on and shit like that. So she wanted to give it a try, y'all. You know, I remember she man. said that she was she's open minded. No. She would try it, so she finally no, no, tried no, no, it, no, no. and she's fucking. This what this what offset me. What? She, this what offset me. She was talking about having sex with TKO, and then she was like, "Oh yeah, I would try it or whatever. I got a new fetish, like I it's some new shit I like, but I don't want to tell y'all." And everybody was like, "What? She was like, oh, my new fetish is watching two niggas fuck each other. How do you get that? Oh, like, oh you're trying to be like who?" Barbie said she like. We ain't talking about Barbie. We talking about Korea. No, Korea not, said that. But you remember Barbie. that? Yeah, but that's that don't. What they gotta do with, with TKO? That's. I mean, that's because everybody Barbie, else. Barbie that first. Barbie no, we. Like, yeah. No, we're talking about how Korea got that fucking fetish out of nowhere at forty fucking what two three. Oh, so she got it too. Ba- babe, no, Korea. I showed you the live when Korea said, "Oh, I eat ass." I eat ass. Oh, she literally just got the fetish. She 41. licking booty hole too. <laughs> Korea really was intimidated by Barbie. That, that part. Interview. Korea she, she said, said that because. That interview. Yeah, she only did that because that's what that's what Barbie said. She, you know, 
She did, but I mean, that's at least Barbie real with her shit. What the fuck? Yeah. She, at least she keep it G real. Yeah, fuck? I don't do that shit, but she, that's her, and that's they freaky shit. But it's like you as a grown woman, and then she even died her dog. I know, I know y'all saw that shit. Bro, not that. <laughs> you saw that shit? She put a mohawk. In her Bae, she dyed the, the the dog's hair and shit. That's what Barbie do. Like, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah like it's just like, ass. what are you like? You trying to keep up with what the fuck she do? Like, you see how she dressing now? You see how Free is pump, plumping up her damn titties, and you know, see how oh, she's yeah, trying to dyed her hair blonde and then and, and, and then blonde. But she's trying to keep up with the dresses because she know what her nigga like. Bitch, you didn't leave, excuse me, but you didn't leave New York to come be in competition with a stripper slash prostitute. She's not a prostitute, don't say that. A high class hoe? Whatever. The same difference. Man, she ain't no prostitute. Ooh. But yeah, it, no, but that that is kind of retarded. You forty one trying to compete with somebody who's been in the game and all this other stuff. You why are you waiting till forty one to be pimped? That part. That, that don't make sense. There's something wrong. I think there's something wrong in, in terms of self-esteem. Because that nobody waits until they're literally 41. I'm not saying 41 is old. I don't want nobody to think that in the comments. It's not old, but it's old enough to have common sense. Like, at some point, that, that's old enough for common sense. It, I don't know what's going on at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's a bunch of weird said, Did she fail ever borrow money from you guys? Oh no, no. I wouldn't even let that nigga if he asked me. But hell no, ew. Hell fucking no. Ew. I can't wait to spirit with that damn wig on. I'm dead. <laughs> you think she gonna start wearing wigs like Armani? Oh, <laughs> Girl, I wouldn't be surprised one day she fucking just wear come out with a damn wig on. I'm gonna be like, girl, okay. At this point, oh. what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you, you said she said it on live. She gonna get a wig? Oh my god! So she dyed her hair to get a wig. Oh, oh my, my god. god! That is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> like I don't know what she's doing. That's why I said, man, I don't look career, bro. She's just in la la land, trying to make it work to their, to her best abilities or something like. I, I really think she likes the cloud. I really do. I think she likes TKO. Oh, yeah. That's a part of it. But I think that she, she likes, likes it. it. She, like it all. she never been a chick. She never had a nigga with no Bentley. Like, she think that that's nice shit. She think that that's like, you know. But it's not. Like, what? Korea, Korea, Korea really thinks TKO wear a real drip. Got yeah, yeah. Got she thinks like right. he's the best nigga she ever had. Yeah, and no, she, and, she never dated no real nigga before. There's a possibility though. Maya. She's going out every day. I, I think females. They go to IHOP every day. I they ain't even go to them them. nice restaurant. <laughs> That's the thing. I think females forget that small shit, the little dates and shit. Some females really take that shit to the heart, and they go out every day. fucking day. Yeah. yeah. People will call that quality time. He cares about me. We sit down. We talk. We go lie. He tells all these bitches on here that he loves me. But behind closed doors, baby, you know what the fuck's going on. You know what's going on. Yeah, Y'all gotta sit there and, and coach each face. other about what to say and what not to say before you go live. What the hell? Right. Oh, wait. Somebody said they just got... IHOP rewards card for free. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, because what the fuck? BJ's. No, what the fuck he recommended to us? BJ's. That was BJ's. I'm like, oh babe, I want some good like, to eat. He he knew it's all the restaurants. Bro, I don't go to fuck he like, oh BJ's, man. they got good food. They do. I'm like, nigga, I what the fuck? Like, they got wagyu steaks in there. He like, oh yeah, they got a. Uh, they got the little T-bones and Salisbury. Nigga, what the fuck is a Salisbury, bitch? A fucking Salisbury. Dude, not a Salisbury. What is this, Marie Calendar? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> not Marie Calendar. What the fuck is that? Yeah. He gonna sell them bitches in the frozen food aisle on, 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 at Stater Brothers, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Girl. 
this is sad. Like, and all of this is just confirming everything we thought. Like, I, I wanted to give him the benefit of that. Like, okay, maybe some of it's real, but all of it is fake. All of it. Like, this is yeah. crazy. It dis it disappointed me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Because when I get over there, you wanna put your shoes next to mine and you don't see that yours don't reflect the way mine's do. When you take Ooh. a picture with flash, your Dior's, your Gucci's are supposed to reflect. They are made with reflection tape stuff. Your shoes don't do it, bro. Don't do it, bro. Don't do that, bro. Niggas on my Instagram was laughing at this nigga. All my niggas on Instagram ride real, oh my real. Yeah, my niggas laughing, bro. Like, who is that, gang? I'm like, this the homie from, uh, from Vegas. Why? Bro, you nigga, you, why you chilling around that nigga, gang? You better watch out. You know how niggas do. You around niggas that do that shit, they gonna think you do it. And sure enough, bro, <laughs> come up on me talking I about, just... oh, yeah, nigga, you got fake, fake shit. Bro, if you don't knock it the fuck off, I got receipts for all mine. I just, I don't, I just don't like the fact that you, you still trying to fake it and we're in your house. Like, we're with you physically. Like, mm -hmm. we see what the fuck is going on. Like, what like the fuck? Like, you're dumb and gullible like other people or something. Like, no, you're literally able to see it up close and personal. And no, I'm sorry, no rich nigga nowhere is going to live in a house with no furniture. Like, come Period. on now. My house is fully fucking... Oh, God. I mean, come it's on to now. Where he don't even be in the house no more. He just sit in the car and drive around when we go live or go to the coffee shop. He need to drive his ass somewhere to a furniture store. I'm saying if he don't have the money, sweetheart, you could literally go to Rent a Center and put motherfucking two hundred dollars down on the couch. On what a the whole fuck? Room set, babe. What do you mean? You could put two hundred dollars down. To the furniture store to take pictures. Thank you, one and only. CK, y'all seem like the type of nigga that'll get it, like, don't say it, and then they're gonna be knocking on his door. He's gonna be on live telling everybody to get down and don't say nothing. <laughs> Rent a center at the door. <laughs> everybody be quiet. Rent a center at the door, bitch. Like, nigga, wait. Nigga, you <laughs> said you have 50000 What you doing? Thank you, one and only. That 50000 is gone now at this point. Oh, yeah. Already, been, oh, that's he, long gone. That's <laughs> and I'm just, it's just, it's crazy because I know, I know they not paying you across the street the way Vigo was why would you do that for a 50k check and then spend it up like that <laughs> he spent it up he didn't even invest it because he's not even hitting no quotas literally oh he's struggling over there okay Whole I feel like honestly on Literally. my opinion, my opinion, I think he just trying to, you know, do what the contract says, you know, probably go live and shit, how he's supposed to. And I think that once he's finished, he's probably gonna come back to fucking Bigo. Because he know that app is whack. He just enjoying that money mm -hmm. that they gave him. That's all. Shit, they gave him to get in the shit. Pulled it all out. <laughs> Fuck you mean? That nigga got his advance and spent it. That like, shit is pathetic. You, you like a rap nigga. Oh, wait. He is a rap nigga. My bad. Ooh. I forgot. He is a rap nigga. Ooh. Don't he? Ain't he? Yeah, he's a... Yeah, he got music. He is a rap nigga. So, I mean, hey, he got to keep up an image. But he not, but he's not a successful rapper anymore. Like, he probably had his thing going. Like anymore? Anymore? <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, anymore? Oh, he was never on? That's to, that's to insinuate at one point he was on... <laughs> What do you mean anymore? <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? Anymore? Uh, I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, stop. Anymore. Ooh, it's not giving at all. I went and I, I'm going to be honest. I listened to a couple of songs and it was not giving. It was giving monotone. It was giving. And I'm reading off of the paper. I'm fucking crying. Yo. <laughs> I'm so done. Yo, this is all a lot. Oh, so do you oh. think he's gonna try to come for y'all now after all of this? Uh, probably not. Stop, chill out. We're gonna, he gonna play it cool. Oh no, man. I'm trying to pull up on the side of me. Ain't nothing bro. going on. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. He's gonna play it cool because what the fuck? He don't got shit on that. So. He gonna act like he don't bother. But he can my, act like that all he wants like, to. My girl like, if you don't slide your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. This nigga. Oh, my God. 
Hey, we been... Now he's so loud. <laughs> you try to save my boy here, because he's over here tripping, man. Y'all be easy, bro. Why the fuck is you talking shit like I ain't right here? Well, he like, my girl just said the same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like that, though, when I pull up. Hold on, bro. No, 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 because why is you talking shit like I ain't in the passenger seat? I'm not talking shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here you go. Like, hold like, up. You wanna raise me no, we in fucking LA. Chill out. I know, I know. Damn. I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm no, he ain't y'all gonna. Y'all are a cute couple, though. Y'all, y'all definitely give like boss vibes. Like, I got you. You got me type vibes. Like, this is a real couple. This is some real shit. <laughs> Not no people shit. <laughs> Thank. I Not appreciate you for real, Cherry. Thank you, yay baby. We just be chilling. That's what I'm saying, bro. We be chilling. Minding our own business. This been on my heart for an entire month. A whole month. Mm. Like, and I was just like, man, fuck that nigga. Like, I ain't even gonna say shit. But it's just like when you when you think you can just keep saying little slick shit and and saying little shit in your live and think I ain't finna say nothing, bitch. No, fuck that. I'm tired of being a bigger person. No, I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say now. Because bitch, you think people don't got no tea on your ass and we got hella tea on you. While while you're talking, mm-hmm. that's what it is. The fuck, that's what it is. nigga. Why is you walking around here like your shit don't stink? Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like what the fuck? Like, the fuck? Yeah. And that's fucked up. And he he do that all the time. He gaslight people. He sit and talk about you in the live, and then when you go off, he be like, "Oh, why are you talking about me? I didn't do nothing." No, you was talking shit. You was just throwing subliminals. And you thought somebody was just supposed to be like, "Oh, okay, I'm not gonna say nothing." Like, no, people don't. Man, you chill out. You You about to irritate my soul because I keep telling you to calm down. We're in LA. (laughs) 